Hi, welcome to Taste This TV. I'm Chef Joe Simonera. We're here in Harlem. Some people call it Soha. Some people call it 125th Street Uptown. Harlem has been a staple in a history in New York City for good food, good music, and good people. But we're visiting today Harlem Burger Company, right? Right on the corner here, West 118th Street. Some people are saying it's the best burger in New York City. So I'm here. I'm here to check it out, try it out, and see if it matches up to the reputation and the hype. Taste this. Albert, how, how are, are you? you? Good, thanks. thanks I'm here. Absolutely. I'm here. Thanks you know, people are saying the best burger in New York City. Yeah. I've come. Well, we'll you have to try it out. I'm definitely going to try, try it. it. But I mean, you have some a real variety up there, right? We're not just talking about the classic, you know, beef on a bun. No, I mean, what we tried to do is uh, we tried to set a, a, a fast, casual environment right. and offer an elevated burger. Um, and we use an all-natural uh, beef product, um, a very high-end uh, beef, very nice. diamond, nan, uh, diamond ranch. Very nice. Um, so you're talking but, top high-quality products in a burger. Sure, absolutely. It's a little bit different from rolling up to a fast food place, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. So we wanted to give uh, the community uh, an experience of a, of a sit-down environment burger, but at the handheld level where they can come in if they wanted to and walk out in five to seven minutes with a, with a premium product. So if I had to say I'm real hungry right now and I want to taste three or four of the yeah, top yeah. sellers, what would you say? So um, the basic burger, which is our company burger, which uh, comes with lettuce, tomato, pickles, and then you could add uh, several toppings, is obviously the best seller. Next to that, after that, is uh, the West Side Cowgirl, which is a fully loaded burger. Really? With bacon. Uh, you got one of those for me? Over easy A, uh, Swiss cheese, uh, barbecue sauce, etc. Um, and then we have a miso hungry, which is a uh, miso marinated cod, um, and we uh, tempura fry that. Um, and that comes out beautifully. And then we do our uh, own veggie burgers here. A twist, if you will, of a, of a falafel. It's a black bean uh, chickpea base uh, with our spices. Um, and we top that off with hummus and some uh, tzatziki sauce. My friend, you are taking burgers to the next level here in Harlem. I can't wait to taste it. Are they almost done? Uh, I think so. All right, let's eat. Are we done? All right, first one's down and dirty. What do we got here? You got the veggie right there. We got the veggie right here. What is in that? That is good. So it's uh, it's our own patty that we make here. Uh, it's a combination of spices. Uh, the base is black bean, chickpea. Uh, it's a twist on for a while, and that's why we also add the tzatziki sauce. Nice and crispy. Little, yeah. The tzatziki sauce goes really well. It balances yeah. it out. Yeah. And this bun, this potato bun, is outrageous. Yeah. Winner. So that this is our basic company burger. Uh, so the regular burgers. company burger's got to get some ketchup on there. That's the way it's got to go down. Mm -hmm. Do you see? You got the flavor of the beef. The flavor of the beef is a big thing. This isn't any frozen store-bought meat, I can tell you that. This is some real, fresh, brown, good quality meat. You mentioned that before, right? Absolutely. 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 So, uh, you know, we don't go, uh, Nyman doesn't do uh, custom blends. It's uh, straight, uh, whatever their uh, their blend is, uh, and that's what we go with. And the other thing is that what I forgot to mention is we, call, we, we make our own uh, pickles as well. We don't buy, really? we don't buy, well, our sauces are made here, our pickles are made here, everything is made here. Look at that meat shine. This is an example of some good beef right here. Hey, you're not going to eat this thing, you're not going to rest. Yeah, it's got to get this. That's the fun. But look at these pickles. Homemade pickles, right here. Who does that? So you're not popping open a jar and saying, No, so, no. no. We try to pop up as few jars as we possibly can. Now this is interesting because we use Rico's cheddar cheese sauce on this, which I will mention is just one of three flavors. You want some good cheese additions? Put that baby on it. It's nice and creamy. Look at this. Oh! That is real good. Nice spice. 
Kitchen, we go. There are no rules in cooking. Taste this. All right, well, welcome back. We're going to have a great recipe here today. Now, we got a couple of things going on. First, what we're going to do is talk about that Harlem burger. Now, you talk about you know, um, tailgating parties, you got wings, you got hamburgers, you got hot dogs, but then you also have meatballs, like buffalo meatballs, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. They're bite-sized meatballs with a toothpick, a little bit of a kick, uh, and a special recipe that I'm going to show you here today. So now, what we got to here is some red beef. Now, a lot of people like to use chicken, you know, like a chicken buffalo meatball or something like that, or you could use turkey as an alternative. But I'm using beef just because it's a personal preference. There's nothing like a uh, good ground sirloin. And what I'm going to do is actually season this beef a little bit, put it in this hot pan. Uh, I'm going to combine it with some sauce. We're going to talk a little bit about, about the dish, and, and you're really going to love it. Now, before we're going to do anything, we're going to take this onion that we have here, and we're going to dice it. And, you know, a lot of people like to put, like, raw onion inside of their, their meat mix. I don't like to do that. I'm more of, uh, like, to kind of season the sauce that goes with it. So I'm not going to put any raw onions or raw garlic into the uh, meat mixture at all, just because I think it upsets the flavor of it. So what we're going to do is take the skin, move it aside, and what I'm going to do is just, just give, like, a real fine dice with my onion here. And what I'm going to do is just throw it in the pan. And eventually what this happens is this is going to cook down and you're going to get the sweet flavor of the onion so you don't have to worry about like, uh, you know, that musty onion smell that sometimes can come afloat. Now what we're going to do is take a little bit of olive oil. Now we have a little olive oil, we're going to throw it in the pan. All right, now what we're going to do is take a little bit of garlic. Now I like to smash my garlic just because I think you get better flavor in it. So we got the garlic, it's nice and smashed. We're gonna put that down. We're gonna put the onions in there as well. And we're gonna just let it release its natural flavors into the pan. And this is gonna really start this dish. You're gonna love it. All right, we're gonna move that off to the side. Make sure we got everything in the pan. We're going to season it with a little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt. And we want a golden brown consistency on the onions. It's very important because we want the caramelization of the onions to really turn into a sweet component to this dish. Because soon we're actually going to take these meatballs and put them right into the dish. And believe me, you are going to love the flavor. All right, so now that we have this, now we're going to get started on the beef. Now we talk about um, that you could use chicken, you could use turkey, etc. But there's a couple of things that are going to go right into this dish. Now you need to make yourself a fondue. A good cheese fondue is really what we're looking for. 
Now, you can talk to yourself like which kind of cheese you're going to use uh, or what kind of fondue you're going to make, but the reality is it's always quicker, especially when it's tailgating, to use something that's already made and already prepared. Now, today I'm going to be using Rico's Premium Cheddar Sauce right out of the can. And as I mentioned, if you're going to use something out of a can, you want to make sure it's definitely premium. This is premium stuff. This and their hot sauce is going to go really good with this, this Texas Texan Original Blazing Hot Sauce. It's, a, it's another company. It's another product line. Really good stuff. Um, you want to try to marry these two flavors if you can. You can find them pretty much in your grocers. Anywhere else uh, is fine. But they're going to be combined into this dish. It's really going to be good. So the first thing we're going to do is add some salt. You could use kosher salt. You could use sea salt, Himalayan salt, any kind of salt you'd like. Next, we're going to take this uh, premium cheddar. And we're going to put at least a quarter can in there. Like so. This is going to give the meatball an incredible, incredible flavor, but it's also going to marry well with the hot sauce, and, and that's really, really important. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is make sure we've added the salt. We're going to put a little cracked black pepper in there. Now, we're going to talk about what goes into this, the rest of this dish here. Now, what we're going to do is mix this in, like so. And the hot sauce is really going to go well with this dish, folks, and the tomatoes is, is really going to take this to the next level. So what we're going to do is take this and mix it. And you're already going to smell magic in the air. Now, when you talk about a good quality uh, cheese sauce, you're talking about that it's made from real cheese. You know, that's what I'm talking about, not all these chemicals and stuff like that, which you know, you have to look for that these days. When you're dealing with products, when you're dealing with canned products, you always look at the ingredient list. This ingredient list is definitely trusted. You, can, you might say it's Chef Joe approved. All right, now, this is a real simple process, right? So we're going to be taking our meatballs, and we're going to be dropping them right in the pan, one by one. Just like this. And you don't have to make the meatballs super small or super big, but this is actually perfect. And what we're going to do is roll all the meatballs until they're perfectly centered in this plate. And they're going to cook nice, and then we're going to add the sauce. The sauce is going to be a really nice glaze. And we're going to get busy, my friends. We're going to be eating buffalo meatballs in the convenience of our own home. All right, so again, you don't want too much oil in this either. You know, too much oil is definitely a bad thing. And we're going to take our meatballs, roll them around nice. There's a couple of things you can do with this dish, too. Uh, you could add honey. You could add a little bit of sugar. You could add a little bit of agave, maple syrup, to kind of give it that sweet kick. With my meatballs, I'm not really looking for, like, any type of a sweet glaze to it. I want them nice and meaty, beefy, and hot. That's why I actually added a little bit of tomato sauce in here just to balance it out. Some people use butter. You could use butter in your buffalo sauce. That's fine, too. I'm, I'm really just watching kind of what I eat this, these days. So, uh, you know, that's not going to be a good option for me. But definitely you can substitute it with a little bit of tomato sauce, and I'm going to show you right now real easy and simple stuff. Now we're going to take the tomato sauce. Now when you take the tomato sauce, you're going to do an equal cup of water. And you're going to notice that this is going to come together and definitely turn this up. And what you're going to do is add your hot sauce. All right, so right now our meatballs are, are cooking nicely. What we're going to do is let that cook down because what we want is a nice, thick, and glazy consistency on it. So we really got the color that we want on these meatballs. And they're really going to go great with this dish. You guys are going to love this recipe. All right, these meatballs are actually looking good. Now, you know, you could add a lot of things to the meatball dish. You know, you could add a little bit of 
you know, breadcrumbs you can add eggs to. I'm not a really big fan of that. Like, I like meatballs the way they should be with meat. I don't want anything addition to it. I don't want to add any fillers. You know, I'm not eating a bread ball. I'm eating a meatball. So the only thing that we really seasoned this with was the cheese. And the cheese really is going to give a great component to this dish. And, of course, the secret is the hot sauce as well. The hot sauce is amazing. As you can see, this is getting very thick. What I'm going to do is carefully turn over the meatballs, like so. And you have to be very careful because you don't have a breading to kind of hold it together, which is all the reason why these meatballs are going to taste like meatballs, you know, not like bread balls. This is really looking good. Fabulous, fabulous dish. And what we're going to do is just continually let that cook down. And what you're going to really find out is you're going to get a tremendous amount of flavor in this dish. All right, so our meatballs are about done. We're going to take them and transfer them over to the plate. Like so. These really look delicious. And we're going to put a little bit of this sauce. Now, you could really smell the heat on this dish. It's not overpowering, but it definitely is a good amount of heat in here that are really going to take this to the next level. A little something I'm going to use is just to take a little pear. And the pear actually cuts, re it cuts through the hotness of the, the spiciness of the sauce. It really adds a little great kind of combination of flavor on this dish. So we're just going to take a couple of pears up at the top here and just help balance that out. All right, so here you have it. This will do it on this incredible segment of tailgating. You know, there's a lot of things you could do from hamburgers to pizzas to meatballs to wings, you name it. But definitely some of the American favorites here are the hamburger and the pizza right down to the spicy buffalo meatballs. Thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joseph Minera. Remember to find us on YouTube, Taste This.